Hi, I'm Sarah Evans, and this is Kim Bredberg, and we are the creators of Blackbird and Company Educational Press. We want to share with you why we created our language arts program. It is simply this. We believe that children are astonishing and capable creatures. Every child has vast, untapped potential to communicate their ideas. I have a Master's of Fine Arts in Writing, but I'm pretty sure I learned to mentor writing when I became a mom. I remember my just learning to read daughter Hannah asking me over and over, Mommy, tell me a story of when you were little. And so I did over and over and over. The art of writing is rooted in storytelling. That's why when it comes to writing, once upon a time is the best place to start. Every child has a story to tell. For the past 25 years, I've been teaching primary, middle, and high school students to write. No matter where they jumped into the process, all my students landed caring about their voice and fearlessly crafting their ideas. Many went on to have their work recognized regionally and nationally by the Scholastic Arts and Writing Awards. Many went on to be published online and in print but all of them took their voice with them into the wider world. Blackbird and Company integrates reading and writing so that children will learn to write as they read and learn to read as they write. Children crave stories, but they also have stories to tell. The art of writing, and it is an art, is rooted in our humanity. Writing is the art of communicating ideas. Whether it's a scientific discovery, a poem, a novel, a personal letter, or a sports article. But when we ask children to piece their ideas together with bits of grammar and prefabricated phrases, we're teaching them that their ideas are secondary to grammar and mechanics. This process is artificial and far from productive. We believe when students discover the power of their own words on paper, writing becomes a treasured tool instead of a tedious chore. When facing the blank page, nearly every writer is reluctant. But when writers value their ideas, they will be motivated to do the work of writing. So how does that happen? Our discovery method transforms reluctant writers into joyful, proficient writers. Writing, the kind readers want to read, begins with curiosity and courage. So let's walk through our core product, Integrated Literature and Writing Discovery Guides, to see the discovery method in action. This is how we motivate students to value their ideas. In kindergarten, first and second grades, children are unpacking language and learning how to use the 26 letters of the alphabet to represent every word spoken. This is a big task and an amazing accomplishment. Also during this stage of learning, fine motor skills are developing and children are learning to control the pencil. By the way, we are big proponents of pencil and paper. Huge. At this age, children are very imaginative and it is vital to keep this alive by reading, journaling, and having a rich language experience. Each week, students, kindergarten through second grade, will be crafting words and images inspired by great stories and having fun in the process. It's important to note that during elementary, middle, and high school years, all writing exercises are tied to great stories. The writers of our selections, ranging from classic to contemporary across all genres, become mentors for students as they discover what words can do. The reading levels grow with the students across time. In the third, fourth, and fifth grade, students are reading more fluidly. During this stage, students use the phonics they've mastered. They will move from crafting simple to more complex sentences. The paragraph will be taught as a form to scaffold their big ideas. By the end of the fifth grade, students are able to craft a well-organized paragraph that communicates their idea. In the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, students are confidently writing their ideas. During this stage of learning, the focus is on bringing shape to engaging paragraphs that demonstrate strong skills. Students at this level care about the subject at hand 
and actively reread and edit their writing. I'd like to read an example written by a fifth grade student because it really demonstrates what is possible. After reading pictures of Hollis Woods, this young man wrote the following in response to a writing prompt. Listen to his unique voice and how he invites you into his story. The writing prompt goes like this. Think about the things that Hollis notices, how she describes what she sees and how what she sees makes her feel. Choose a place that is important to you and write a description of it that captures how it makes you feel. In my grandma's house, there was a kitchen that everyone loved so full of smells wafting from the famous hot beef stew or from the roast turkey on Thanksgiving Day. I remember the merry times we once spent celebrating and laughing together. That kitchen was a gathering place for cousins, aunts, and uncles, a place where family and friends went to form beautiful memories. The walls were yellow and blue, strewn with pictures of roosters and grandchildren. A great wood table used to sit in the middle where we would eat waffles covered in fresh fruit and cool whip. Little sausages were always served on the side. Above the sink, there was a large window that looked into the dining room and beyond to the vast blue ocean, splashing against the Malibu coast. On the sill, there were always flowers and figurines. As a baby, I would climb and sit on the dishwasher door. Something I will never forget is the sound of squawking indicating that the parrots were coming. We would hurry to the big window at the far side of the kitchen and see dozens of parrots flying toward the feeders in the oak trees. But one day my grandma had to move away from that house because she had become too old. But we all remember it as a place of happiness and smiles, as a place of memories that we can keep forever. Every time I read this story, I marvel at the sincerity and love this paragraph evokes. Now that we've walked you through the core of our program, please check our website to see all the complimentary writing products included in the grade level collections. From early creative writing, vocabulary development, grammar and rhetoric, to the art of essay and poetry. Stick with us and your students will joyfully raise their voice.